Well, it's here, guys. It's arrived. People are starting or have lost total confidence in their governments. This will cause a runoff on the monetary system. And that is major for a country. And this is something that countries uh, do not look forward to. Because the day of reckoning always shows up with pitchforks and torches. So here on the channel, I mean, we've been talking about, you know, banks running out of liquidity. We did talk about a couple of bank runs that were happening in Australia. We had another one in France in 2019 with the Gilles de Jean. And uh, the great Canadian peso is coming soon. Devaluation of deliberate downturn adjustments of value of the country's money. And this is before the, 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 you know, the, the thing got serious, before they made it serious or they created something out of nothing, right? Uh, what else have we got? New Amero dollar might be a reality in North America. That's something you might be looking forward to. I'm just trying to think. Uh, negative interest rates coming to a city near you. That's there. We're pushing towards that. I'm just trying to see if I have a criminal economic. Try to see what I could find here. So here it is, guys. What's been happening? Well, a lot's been happening. People have lost absolute and total um, confidence in their local governments. And that's become a major issue. And uh, now what's going to happen is when people lose confidence in governments, they start withdrawing the money from the bank accounts. And because they don't trust their money in the banks, the banking system has been so heavily deregulated in English speaking countries that the average Joe Donuts, if he actually sat down and realized what the banks have been doing to him for the last, let's say, let's let's just be fair, since 2008, he would be astonished that the governments would allow this. Why would the governments allow this? Because the governments need this to happen. So people lose confidence in their local government, and what do they do? They pull their money out. When they pull their money out, what happens? Well, there is tension on the monetary system, and that becomes a major issue. Why is there tension on the monetary system? Let's just pretend that this book are entire full of gold certificates. These are all gold certificates that cover a nugget of gold. One certificate covers one nugget of gold of this. Much gold. But the problem is, I have this, look at all the certificates I have for gold. But there's only one nugget available. You get it? That's what's happening. Not enough money available for people to pull out of their accounts. And that will call, cause a crisis and a collapse on the in the economic system within the country. And eventually countries bordering it will feel may, may, Posit, react positively to it with people converting their dollars into, let's say, if you're in Canada, you'd want to convert to U.S. dollars. This might help the U.S. currency uh, in a short-term Mickey Mouse type of way of patching things up. And that's what's happening right now. Uh, we've got reports that banks in Canada are limiting people. So if you've got this or if this is, has happened to you, please go ahead and report down below uh, if you are being... Um, I, I tried to sell some RSPs the other day, uh, yesterday actually, retirement savings plans. I don't think I'm going to live long enough to need them. Uh, I'm being very frank with you guys. And there's nobody there to, to do it for me. i got to make some phone calls and maybe come back in two months, she said. I'm like, wow. So, yeah, it's going to happen and it's happening. And once people wake up to uh, what you might call it, a crash course on basic banking monetary system people were waking up and saying damn we've been had but luckily there is still areas where you can still buy physical and spot gold but they're running out and they're running dry we've talked about gold to silver and silver to gold and all that stuff for years and the importance of hedging against inflation and the importance of making sure you are prepared the reason why i haven't been so worried about pretty much almost anything is because very simply because I've been prepared. I've been prepared my whole pretty much since I was 25. I've been prepared. I know it sounds kind of, whoa, Mike, I don't know, maybe 35, but 25. I've always had a backup plan, always something to make sure I'm not at the end of and at the end of the rope, you know. Let me know what you guys think. I hope a, a bigger channel could get this um, information. And uh, before it actually, because this, this will start happening. First thing that starts happening when people lose confidence in their governments is people take money out of their accounts. So hopefully a bigger channel could take this and run with it. And uh, I appreciate it uh, if you could do that. 
And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw this out there. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thanks for subscribing to me on Rumble. And thanks for subscribing to me on Odyssey. My main YouTube channel got taken down from a video I put four and a half years ago before the convoy arrived in Ottawa. Uh, one day before the convoy, two days before the convoy arrived in Ottawa. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Lots of hugs. Lots of kisses. Be strong. Be smart. Always eye on the prize. Stay focused because this is your test. I have spoken.